Vicki Wagner and welcome to Lesbian Knows Best. Today we're going to talk about women who don't love themselves and what to do about it. My guest today is Carla Hessler and she's from Baldwin Park, California. And how are you today, Carla? Okay. Good. Thanks for being on the show. Now you're actually a super nice girl, aren't you? Yes. Okay. So you're really nice. You're married to this guy who really doesn't treat you well, doesn't have a job, he really doesn't do anything. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? Okay. Well, to start off, I guess I have to tell you that uh, I don't know why I'm married to him still. I do and I don't. How long have you been married to him? For two years and like nine months. Two years and nine months. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you guys were dating before then? We were dating and then we were But he doesn't have a job, right? No. Okay, and so you're married. Don't you have a kid together? Yes. How old's your kid? Two. Two. Do you work? Yes. Okay, you do work. Mm -hmm. And so you go to work every day and plus take care of the kid. And what does he do all day long? Oh, he takes care of um, our son. He does? Yes. Okay, so why are you guys still together if you're not happy? <clears throat> he doesn't have a place to live right now. We were actually separated, so yeah. So uh, he doesn't have a place to live. He was living out in, in his car, and it's his car. Cold. Yeah, it's cold, and I, see that's well, it's not so cold in California, but it <laughs> oh, it was cold. Yeah. So um, you know, instead of him sleeping outside or anything, I let him inside the house. My parents did not want him there either. Do you live with your parents? Yes, I do. Okay, and how old are you? Uh, twenty-two. You're twenty-two. Okay, so you guys have been together. You had a baby together, or you got married. You had a baby, but you have a um, a hard time. You always put other people first. Mm -hmm. So right now, what you're doing is putting him first because he doesn't have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to stay with him, right? No, I don't want. Okay, to stay well, with him. I just have a question. <laughs> Why are you staying with him? It, I mean, it's not your responsibility that he doesn't have a place to stay. Yeah, I know that. But we're still married, so I mean. But you know. you're making excuses for him. Exactly, I know I am. I know, but why? Uh, that's that's the one thing. I, I love him, and I'm. I don't know if I can say if I'm in love with him, you know, because if I was, and I'd want to work things out or whatever. But it's just. It's not happening. I don't see it happening. I know, but my question to you is, you know, you have like a history. <coughs> Carla has told me a little bit about herself. You have a history of always putting other people first, you know, doing things for everything else. You know, people don't appreciate you. Why do you always go out of your way to, to do things for other people? It makes me feel, it makes me feel good. Okay, because a lot of women have this problem where they actually want to do things for another person so that it'll make them feel good because it mm -hmm. actually makes you feel good, but you don't get anything in return. And how does that make you feel? The only thing I get in return is knowing that afterwards they, they kind of realize, okay, well, I use this person. And I know that they do because I sit down and I talk to them and they tell me this stuff. So, I mean. They tell you what they, they tell me I'm that. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. I help people and I don't get anything back. Okay. But the only thing I do get back is them actually realizing that I am not, I'm not like them. I'm different. I'm, you know, actually willing to stand up for them and help them out. Right. Because there's a lot of people who are in your position. Are you doing it because you want to do it or because you want something in return, like recognition? Um, doing it maybe because of both. For both? Yeah. Do you think that a lot of women will do things and they'll stand out for their man and let them do things? Because I've, I've come across a lot of people lately who, they're not really happy in their marriages, but they stay in their marriage. Yeah. Okay, so why are you staying? I just want to know, <clears throat> why are you staying in this marriage? Because I haven't gotten up and gotten the divorce papers or anything like that. Okay, so are you saying it's because you're being lazy about it? Yeah. Okay, so are you happy? No. Y yes and no. Okay. I'm happy with him being a good father, but not a good husband. So. Okay, so he's not a good husband. Mm. So are you sticking with him maybe because he's a good father? or? Okay, Probably, yeah. I, I guess the point that I'm, I'm trying to make and I'm, I'm trying to get at because we were talking earlier and Carla was telling me all about, you know, all this nice stuff she does for everybody and she always puts other people first and she's, she's basically kind of like a, a doormat almost and I'm not saying that in a bad way, no, but people step on her all the time and they use her all the time and I think a lot of women have this same issue and I think it, it also has to do with having a little bit of confidence about yourself <laughs> and loving yourself. And but basically what I want to say is, you know, you need to learn to love your own self before you can love somebody else. And you know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if, you, if you're going to actually be loving yourself, you wouldn't tell the guy, okay, well, you can stay with me, you can do this, you can do that. Because what you're doing is you're actually giving all of your love away and not saving anything for yourself. Do you know that? You yeah. know that that's what you're doing? Yeah, how that's why I'm not happy. Okay, because how does it make you feel, honestly? It makes me feel used, unappreciated, and crappy. Like just a big load of crap. It make, I mean, it makes you, and, and that's what I want to say is that a lot of times people are walking around 
women and even men are walking around and you're feeling like this, God, I do all this stuff for other people, I go out of my way, I try to make them feel good, and then you don't feel appreciated, and you're like, I'm giving all my love away. Mm -hmm. And you need to actually give, save a little bit of that up for yourself, kind of like wring the love that you're giving out back in and give it to yourself. And viewers, this is the point I want to make is, you know, I want to thank you for coming on my show today. I kind of wanted to bring up this topic because I think that people just give all their love away, give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away, hoping some will come back. And that doesn't always happen because a lot of times people will take and take and take and take and they won't give it back to you in return. So what you got to do is you got to take it back for yourself, love yourself. My advice for you is you're with a guy you're not happy with. Get off your ass and get a divorce from this guy. And I'm, I'm going to be frank. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't just sit here and tell the world, I'm unhappy, I'm happy, I'm happy, and then not do anything about it. Right. And ladies out there, man, if you're in a bad relationship or you're not happy, just cut the rope. You know, cut the ties. You know, quit being indecisive. You know, you only have one life. So, viewers, if you have any comments or questions, please write into us today at www.lesbianknowsbest. My final thought I want to say, thank you very much for coming on the show, Carla. Sure. And I want to say is, you know what, don't just give all your love away because you only have one life and you need to give yourself some love first and that'll make you like it. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time on Big Life.